Global demand for gold fell in the third quarter to its lowest level since late 2020, while financial investors sold the yellow metal. Jewelers and retail investors continued buying. A total demand over July through September was 831 tons. And gold is often seen as a safe haven asset, and the decline shows the continuing impact of COVID-19. But uh, demand in India is expected to strengthen in the fourth quarter, as Rebecca Bundan reports. The Jada family are shopping for gold for their daughter Samiksha's upcoming wedding. The precious metal is a key feature of Indian marriages, but it's not just because it is a status symbol. ये गोल्ड जो है सोना ये हमारे लिए बहुत मायने रखते क्यों कभी इमरजेंसी में कुछ काम पड़े तो गोल्ड काम आता है तो ये बहुत जो अभी है इन अपने पास तो अपन वो गोल्ड में इन्वेस्ट कर सकते हैं They end up spending just over 2000 US dollars on a gold necklace but because gold rates are still relatively high and the family is still cautious about spending amid the pandemic they say they bought about half the weight they would have otherwise purchased but jewellers are encouraged that people are out buying during the festive and wedding season, which is underway in India. So we are very much happy. The footfalls have turned up. The momentum is good and uh, the sentiments are too good. The customers are uh, coming up in the market to purchase gold. The, it's an emotional touch which Indians feel about the gold. So for gifting purpose, for wedding, everything gold is used in India. So yes, gold is always auspicious for us. <laughs> Hindu festivals, including Diwali, coming up in November, are considered particularly auspicious times to buy gold. Crystal Ratings forecasts that gold jewellery retailers in India will see up to a 14% increase in revenue in this current financial year compared to the previous year, with pent-up demand from weddings, which account for some 60% of jewellery sales, and festive purchases expected to help boost growth. 2020 was tough for businesses. The uncertainty of the pandemic and the security of gold as an investment saw gold prices in India surge to a record high above 56,000 rupees, or about $750 per 10 grams, a rise of about a third from before India's nationwide lockdown was imposed in March 2020. Prices have since settled at about 15% below last year's peak. Jewellers, who are forced to shutter their stores to curb the spread of COVID-19, have reopened as restrictions eased and the outlook's a bit brighter. What we are seeing now is that with the increase in vaccination pro, uh, coverage and all that other positive stuff that we hear about the economic recovery, the industry has started looking up. It looks like is that this Diwali, with the price point being acceptable, and the trade also having a very positive sentiment, you could see a spike in demand. To lure buyers back to the market, jewellers are offering deep discounts. Tanish, which has more than 300 stores across India, has also launched a collection for the season which contains less gold to make the items more affordable. And it's just introduced a new digital gold product to appeal to a younger market. It allows customers to buy small amounts of gold online for as little as just over one US dollar. And once they've consolidated enough, they can walk into a store and exchange it for jewellery worth a similar weight in gold. The company says the initial signs are encouraging, with the platform attracting a couple of thousand customers a month. But it says it needs to wait longer to gauge the success of the product. Analysts say most online gold purchases are made by people under the age of 45. With such efforts, jewellers are looking forward to a bit of festive cheer. India's gold jewellery demand fell 42% last year to about 315 tonnes on the previous year, according to the World Gold Council. But the council says it expects a sharp rise in demand for the rest of the year, with retail sales possibly returning to pre-pandemic levels. Analysts see this trend continuing into the new year, barring any unexpected event, as rising inflation spurs demand for gold, traditionally a hedge against inflation. Rebecca Bundan, CNA, Mumbai.